the events A and B satisfy. Probability of A is X, probability of B is Y, probability of A or B is 0 0.6, and probability of B given A is 0 0.2. Question A, show clearly that for X plus 5 Y is 3. So, let's consider this conditional probability, probability B given A, just using a formula, it is equal to what? Probability of and B and A, or A and B, doesn't matter. Uh, divided by probability of this given, so probability of A, and and hence uh, 0 0.2 is what probability A given B, and divided by x, and uh, hence uh, we can find probability uh, A and B is 0 0.2 x, and it uh, will be used uh, for what? For this formula, because if we consider probability A or B, it's what? Probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. And hence it becomes 0 0.6 is what? X plus Y minus this 0 0.2 X. And hence, and hence we get 0.8x plus y is 0 0.6. And multiplying by, uh, by what? By 5, we get 4x plus 5y is 3 as required. Question B. Uh, the events B and C are mutually exclusive such that probability B or C is 0 0.9, B of C is x plus y, find the value of x and the value of y. So, uh, mutually exclusive, it means uh, what? The probability of B and C is equal to 0. And if we consider this formula, probability of B or C, it's uh, what? Probability of b plus probability of c minus probability of b and c but it's zero and and it is it becomes what probability b or c 0 0.9 is probability of b it's the same b so it's y it's y probability of c where is probability of c it's uh, x plus y plus x plus y and minus 0. Hence we get x plus 2y is 0 0.9 and hence we get simultaneous equations this and this. And uh, we can use elimination method or substitution. Uh, let it be substitution. So x from the second x is what 0 0.9 minus 2y and into the first it becomes what? what? 4 times 0 0.9 minus 2y plus 5y is 3. So it's 3.6 minus 8y plus 5y is 3 and it becomes 3 to the left. So it's 0 0.6 is 3y. So y is what 0 0.2 hence x is 0 0.9 minus 2 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.5. So x is 0 0.5 and y is 0 0.2. And question C. Determine whether the events A and B are independent. To be, uh, to be independent, probability of A and B uh, should be probability of A multiplied by probability of B, or in general uh, A and B. Uh, another way uh, we can show that probability A given B is equal to probability of A um, given not B, it is equal to probability of A. Definitely we can choose, for example, this if you show that probability of A given B is equal to probability of A, it also uh, says us that uh, A and B are independent events, or you may show that probability of A given B is equal to probability 
a given node b or probability a given node b is equal to probability of a. But uh, here it will be easier to use uh, to show that or to check uh, a and b and uh, uh, product of probability of a and probability of b. So probability of a and b, where is it? It's uh, 0 0.2 x, 0 0.2 x, x is 0 0.5, so it's 0 0.1. Oh, 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.5 is 0 0.1. And probability of A multiplied by probability of B is equal to what is probability of A? And probability, so it's just x multiplied by y. It's x, y, and it's 0 0.2 times 0 0.5, and it's also 0 0.1. And as probability A and B is equal to probability A multiplied by probability of B, A and B are independent events. just are independent and that's all for this question